Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and I just wanted to make a dedicated video about tearing down or getting into the internals on the ASUS ROG Strix G16 16-inch laptop. Now, unfortunately, I just popped it closed, but there's these little plastic tabs that need to be popped up in order to lift this panel up. First, there's 11 screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. This 11 screw is captive. Do not try to remove that. Your front screws are small compared to the rest of your chassis, which are nice and long. And once you get all the screws removed, you then tackle the captive screw. Unscrew it until you hear a popping sound and then stop. Then you're gonna need a plastic pry tool and what you're gonna do is you're gonna work from one edge starting from this plastic uh, or this captive screw. You're gonna start from one edge and kind of work your way down, twisting as you go and you're gonna hear the plastic pop. Then once you go down each side, working your way towards the back, then you can lift it up from the front. However, depending on your model, if you might have some RGB or some other devices, there may be a ribbon cable underneath here. So don't just lift it up, very carefully lift up, look underneath, make sure there's no ribbon cables connect or anything like that, and then continue lifting up slowly, monitoring as you go. Different models have different features and you might have a ribbon cable on yours and I don't want you to rip it. So here are the internals of the ASUS ROG Strix G16 2023 laptop that has an Intel 13980HX and an RTX 4070 mobile GPU. Up front, we have our 90 watt hour battery. We also have our speakers on either side of the battery. We also have our NVMe drive right here, depending on the model, would vary in, in capacity and size. This one is the Western Digital SN 560. Then we have our memory modules, which is underneath this black cover. These, it, this is the uh, Samsung DDR5-4800. And then over here, we have our wireless card. Now, believe it or not, I first, when I was looking at this, I did not see additional storage options. You can't fit a 2.5 inch in here, like an SSD or a small hard drive. But I was looking for other NVMe or SATA connector. So I was looking for this. And it wasn't visible at first, but if you look very carefully, it's right there. And what's odd to me is Asus decided to make it go along the Wi-Fi card, which is a Wi-Fi 6 wireless card, uh, just FYI. So we're going to have to put the NVMe drive that's going to go over that wireless card. There's the little stand or screw for it to connect to. Um, and I'm kind of concerned about that because we know these drives can push out a lot of heat. However, we're going to try that, see if that does affect the wireless chip. And on the back side here, we have a couple things. First off, one fan for the chipset cooling. This is your chipset. Another for your GPU, your RTX 4070, depending on the model, 4080, probably a little bit bigger. And then another one, sorry for the shaky camera, for your CPU. Really interesting thermal uh, design for this particular laptop. We also can see the VRMs itself for the CPU and GPU have plates on them that connect to these heat pipes to try to dissipate some of that thermal energy it's producing. But that is how you tear down the ASUS ROG Strix G16 2023 model with the components I mentioned. And I hope that you don't break anything and you're able to upgrade. So upgradability, memory, uh, max capacity 32 gigabytes, and then you got space for two NVMe drives. If you do ever replace your stock drive, check out Macro Reflect to image it first, then apply, you know, swap it out, apply to image, and that can help you save or retain your original ASUS uh, you know, restoration with Windows 11 so you don't have to reinstall everything and lose your pre-installed software like the ASUS Armory Crate or my ASUS application. That's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please do me a favor, hit the like button on the way out. Uh, make sure to get subscribed and hit notification bell to stay up to date as well as check out some of the links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Mm -hmm.